in this lecture we will study the class of problems that are known as p n p n p complete okay and n p hard problems okay so you have heard about these and they are quite people are afraid of these okay when you hear about them but let's try to demystify this class of problems okay so what is p what is n p what is n p complete what is n p hard all these things we will see in this lecture so first let's look at the class of problem that is n p problem okay so what is a class p problem so class p problem is set of problems that can be solved in polynomial time okay so polynomial times means so for let's take one example so example is if you are given a1 a2 a3 an array of n integers okay and you i ask you to search one number in that so you just run a for loop and for i is equal to 1 to n if your ai is equal to that number key then you are done okay so this searching among n numbers is o of n algorithm okay what we saw now and so this is polynomial time o of n where n is the input size o of n square okay bubble sort okay so these are example of polynomial time algorithm which you can solve in poly polynomial time and we look at some decision problems also yes no problems with a polynomial time algorithm okay so what is this yes no so there are some problems that are decision problems so what are decision problems so those problems for which there is only an answer of yes no for example searching also it's a yes no you can either find one element in an array or you cannot find so this is also a decision problem okay and then we have a class of class np problem so these are problems with a polynomial time checking algorithm okay it means that you cannot solve these problems in polynomial time but you can if you are given a solution to it okay so you are kind of an examiner and you are given solution to that problem you can check whether it's correct or not you can verify the answer in polynomial time so more precisely it says that given a solution example subset of vertices so we can check in polynomial time if that solution what we are looking for okay for example there is a click problem okay, so let's try to see in some different place so there is a click problem so click is basically you are given a graph and you have to find if there is a subset of nodes that are all connected to each other so in this graph if you see so if i'm making this graph so this has a five nodes okay and it has a click of size four click means a b c, d e so okay a b d e all of these nodes are connected to each other so it forms a click so now and this is np class problem why because if i give you a solution let's say a b d e so you can verify in polynomial time if a is connected to b d and e okay so you go to adjacency matrix for a in that row you check whether it's connected to b d and e then you go to now the in, in adjacency matrix you go to row b and check a, whether it's connected to a e and d so this is you can check in polynomial time okay verify that okay if a b d is a click and also you can verify is a okay so a b c and d a click okay so in fact a is not connected to c so it's not a click so that also you can verify if it is a click or not in polynomial time so this problem is np problem now we come back okay so click problem we showed that it belongs to np because we can verify 
if a problem that click given a solution to a click problem i can verify in polynomial time whether it can be solved okay it it is a correct solution or not similarly now if i ask you is all problems in p are they in np also so is p a subset of np so for example if i give you like some numbers okay a1 a2 a3 a4 till an okay and then i ask you that okay and i sort it out so sorting is a polynomial time because it takes o of n log of n now i ask that i give you a a1 dash a2 dash a3 dash till an dash this is a sorted output okay so now can we verify in polynomial time again that okay this can be is this a correct sorted array so just you need to check that i start from a1 a2 a1 should be less than equal to a2 should be less than equal to a3 like this a n minus 1 should be less than equal to a n so this is simply a polynomial time verification is required if this is not satisfied it's not sorted if it is satisfied then it's a sorted array so you can verify again a sorting sorted array if it is correct or not and this is again so p is a subset of np okay proper subset now why because in fact any problem that can be solved in polynomial time so of course you have the solution so you can verify also in polynomial time okay because your input size is fixed so in that order you can verify the answer okay because you can solve it in polynomial time so if we draw a venn diagram okay a set so p will be something here this is np at least i know that okay all problems in p are in np because they can also be verified in polynomial time as they can be solved in polynomial time so this is there so show that now that cnf problem is cnf satisfiability is in np okay so they are showing some other problem so satisfiability problem you have to check whether a formula is in np or not okay so let's try to see okay so what is happening okay so now in short you can find for p find a solution in polynomial time and for np you can check whether a solution is there in correct or not in polynomial time so big problem is that you have to find whether p is equal to np we showed that okay p is a subset of np but is p equal to np this is a big question if you solve it you will become a most famous person on earth okay at least very famous so this is there for class p and np we will next class we will look at problem that is np complete and np hard problems okay so thanks a lot